do you have any like guidance for the type of wedding ring a guy should look for? Like I have my personal thoughts and I always want to say like look at precious metal, something a little more classic. Uh -huh. But like how do you usually talk about wedding ring style? Because that's one that's the one piece of jewelry we get. It is, class. yeah. So I'm a big hypocrite right now because I'm wearing a silicone band because my daughter lost my gold ring, which uh -huh. sucks. And so it's like, well, do we do we replace it? Or I mean we've turned the whole house upside down, but like not all the way. We've got we've done a good thorough search, but not like a yet. deep see exactly, exactly. <laughs> we haven't moved yet. And so, uh, but my, my general rule of thumb would be, um, think about the fact, and I mean, you certainly can replace it, right? But think about the fact that it's something that you really won't want to replace and you're going to wear every day for the rest of your life. And so it should be relatively simple. Mm -hmm. It should be super versatile. Uh, I know for me, when I, you know, when I first got married, it was kind of weird that I just wanted a simple gold band because everybody, you know, all my friends and everybody else, when they were getting married, it was all these like really cool thick tungsten things or, you know, titanium. The, the, yeah, titanium or it's got wood in it or anything else. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. But again, think about the longevity of the piece. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I would say is know if you're a warm or a cool skin tone. Mm -hmm. And if you're warm, then probably go with something that's a, a yellow gold or maybe even a rose gold. And then if you're cooler, then you can go with a white gold or a silver or platinum or something else like that. So you're, you're, I, I know guys that bought like three of the same titanium ring uh -huh. in case they lose it. You're on the side of just have one. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, that may just be more, I don't think there's anything wrong with buying, buying a few just in case you lose one. Yeah. In fact, right now I'm kind of wishing I had done that. So. <laughs> yeah, for me, uh, so I'm just a gold lining band and gold band. And uh, I just, I'm kind of old school. So like, uh, this is a gold chain too. This was passed on to me, my, my grandfather, when I was in eighth grade. And I've worn this every day, pretty much since eighth grade. And the wedding ring's the same way. So I don't really view it as a style accessory. I view it as a commitment to my wife and to my family and into our relationship. And it should be something that's timeless, just like our marriage. As it should be. To me, they're very similar to watches in that you're only gonna have a couple, you know? I mean, for me, I'm really only gonna have one. Um, so, you know, put some thought into it and find something that works for you. Obviously, there's like some practical implications. Like if you're, like my brother-in-law's a firefighter, so he can't wear metal, you know? So he has a, a rubber ring. Um, a lot of guys who work out a lot might wear silicon rings, so it's just more convenient. But, you know, for me, I want uh, a ring that's gonna first of all last forever and also that kind of suits my style so simple understated and high quality mm -hmm. yeah. i shopped one for a friend that had like wood ingrained in it mm. because he works that's like that's kind of part of his identity mm -hmm. and i think it's so cool that you can't express yourself that way mm -hmm. uh, and kind of find something that can last forever yeah yeah and you know i, I think guys are you know, maybe a little more simple in terms of uh, what, when we're shopping for a piece of jewelry. So, but there's a lot of really subtle things about rings that that you can still shop for one that, you know, at first glance, like oh, it's just a, it's just a, a gold circle, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of little things with the shape and the carvings and, uh, you know, the the way it fits and the size that um, I think it's worth doing a little research.